Hey there guys and welcome into a new series where today we're starting Fallout London, yes, finally. Now, before we start this series, I am going to preface that I am going to try and give my character a voice, so it might be shit. I just want to try a little bit of voice acting with uh, Fallout London, seeing as there's no voice protagonist. So I uh, hope you guys do enjoy that bit. These are going to be like fully unedited videos unless it's absolutely necessary. And anyway, I think we're just going to start this as we normally would, you know? We're going to actually watch cutscenes and stuff because I've done test playthroughs, but I've not actually watched the cutscenes or really paid attention to the story. So I guess here we go. Once it wants to load, that would help. Anytime today. Please. Okay, one second. I'm going to restart Fallout 4. Or Fallout 1 then, even. Uh, it seems to have shot itself. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises, Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, deal too sacred because war war never changes Oh, okay, I guess we're we're back. Um, that was a long cutscene. Anyway, uh, we are going to go with just a male fuck it. Has been performing adequately. Oh really? No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. Okay. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. Smythe. How are they in appearance? Uh, I'm one sexy motherfucker. You, you guys know. You guys know I'm out here. I'm doing that shit. So sliders all the way to the left, yeah? Nah, I'm, I'm doing this very basic because I kind of want to get into the game like properly. 
Uh, I kind of have a rough idea of what I want for my character in terms of hairstyle and stuff, and that's really the main stuff that I'm doing. I think it was casual waster, right? Yeah. Yeah, that. And then we're going to do a little bit of facial hair, which uh, I'm going to go right down to the bottom. Not right down to the bottom, sorry. Uh, swashbuckler. Uh, eye color is going to be... What colors are my eyes, guys? Hazel? Hazel. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Tell me down in the comments below, I guess, or something. I don't know what my actual eye color is. Uh, extras. Let's do a little bit of damage to ourselves. Um, where is... Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Cursed Clown looks... Wait, back. Cursed Clown looks kind of sick. Yeah, let's uh, do that. No. Keep pressing the wrong button. It's space to apply it, isn't it? And then let's do right side quad. And then accept. Skip. Body. We're going to be a little light. We're in a little bit of a tube. We're maybe a little bit malnourished, you know? Still got a little bit of muscle on us, but not much. And this is us, I guess. Uh, I am going to be very basic. I'm going to call him Artemis. I can't think of a funny name right now. Excellent. It's either that or John Fallout. <laughs> or John Fallout New Vegas. Well, wow, John Fallout London, I guess. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Ooh, physical and... Actually, you know what? Hell yeah. <laughs> Full name, John Fallout London. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm funny, guys. Alright, we want uh, 9 in strength. Probably like an 8 in endurance. Uh, a decent little bit of charisma. Ooh. Hmm. We'll do 8 strength, 7 endurance. Six. Hmm, wait, I want a little bit of agility, though. Um. Oh, wait, yeah, I can put this down to seven. I can put... Agility just gives us extra action points and stuff, eh? Ability to sneak as well, though. I don't really need, um... Perception because I'm planning on doing a melee build. Um, that'll turn into a five, that'll turn into a seven, that'll turn into a three, that'll turn to eight, that'll turn to eight. What? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take one from each and just make that a nine. Because everything else, I, I don't really need too much of. I maybe want... I'll train perception a little bit later on through the playthrough, I think. But firstly, we want gifted. Yes, I know it takes a little minus 15% experience gained. But that's good. And secondly... I am going to go for... See, heavy-handed seems fun. Just because... Um... I like doing just normal melee attacks. I don't really do anything with, like... Power attacks, really, usually. So do we do that? We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am good with that. So I think we've got 10 injure... 10 strength, 9 endurance, or 8 endurance, 7 endurance. I, trust I, don't everything is going I guess we'll see. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Oh, am I? Good. Oh, really? The subject looks I'm your best work yet. Wow, I'm flattered. So we can wrap up phase one. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Help set phase. Thank you, sir. On fossil power. Thank you, sir. See that it's done. Well, gremlins, man. Look at this gremlin ass dude right here. Seems Got his hand on my fucking glass and shit. Get off my tube, bitch. Oh, oh, well. He's off my tube, I guess. Bye bye. Run away. Oh, I've missed absolutely everything. Sick. Love that. Oopsies. Missed every conceivable detail I could have there except one guy dying. Okay, well, we have woken up, I guess, and we are appear to be stuck in our tube still. Huh. Oh, yeah, we can. I love this detail light so much. Also, fun little fact that I noticed because, again, like I said, I've done a few test playthroughs. Um, to make sure that the mod's working as best as I can get it working just now. Uh, but, fun little fact that I noticed is Smythe's gender is purely based on what you choose for your gender at the start of the playthrough. Um, just thought I'd mention it because, uh, you know, it, it seemed like a fun little fact. Uh, let's go over down into here, see if there's anything around. We are going to try and look into, like, every place in here, just in case, you know. Looks like they got in through here. Um, can't see that very well, which isn't great, but, you know. Is there any more test subjects in here, or was it just me? It was just me, apparently. Uh, well... One that was currently being tested on, at very least, because, um... Well, I guess... My... My siblings were... Maybe... A little bit dead. Um, but anyway... We're moving on, we've got no time to mourn, we've got to get out of this bitch, right? Take everything. This has 9mm ammo. Take the 9mm ammo. Okay, what's to the west? Because I think that way over there might be the way out. Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh. Of course, very British, I guess. Very, very London-esque. Too much tea, sugar, milk. I'm taking the milk. That's about all I care about. Oh. Oh. A little, um, GOG t-shirt, I guess because of that because well obviously this is from gog i am playing on the steam version by the way which is why it might so what's this uh which might why it might uh crash and stuff uh what's this i think this is just supporters and stuff yeah yeah that's what that looks like okay well i guess we're moving on very quickly from here um now i will leave a link to Fallout London's like website down in the description below probably so that if you guys have a PC and want to check out the mod by all means go and check out the mod uh, or if you just want to sit here and watch me play through it sit here subscribe you know do all that usual stuff um, I did say we were going to go through little bits here and there I wasn't going through the support thing because that's a thing that you can look through yourself or like see yourself uh, I have Redacted and corrupted your file. Okay, sick. Do not write out mission statements. This is covered in orientation. Okay, entry one. Uh, trooper server secured us a batch of rad shrews for testing. I would have preferred working with rad rats, but it seems they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the Radshrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. Okay. No. I want log entry too now. Thank you. Tested on the capture of Radshrews is going well. Multiple died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm especially proud of 
one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I am now going to move us on to the next stage of development. Well, uh, I can't speak today. English is not my friend today. Uh, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. We'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die. So we better get the net ready to capture some more. Okay. Log entry three. Smythe should be content with the results. Progress has progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the rad shrews surpass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prize subjects next door. Utterly fabulous to see all it all coming together. With any luck, Smythe will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. Okay, so whoever Smythe actually is, um, is uh, doing some experimentation, I guess, on us. Or we're part of an experiment of some sort. Uh, what's this? Just Brad Shrew. Small crinkle never. Da 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 da. It's evolution. The Brad Shrew has tiny eyes, large nose, giving it a keen sense of smell. Through the undergrowth for the prey and can be found in most habitats, but prefer dirt flooring, woodland, and grassland. Active by day and night. They are very territorial and aggressive for their size and can sometimes be heard fighting. Their high pitched squeaks, particularly noticeable during the summer. Most rashers have mutated to have lost most of their fur and have grown sizable front teeth. Where there is hair left, there are thin, tiny hairs that allow that in wool light allow the rashu to navigate through touch rather than sight. The pair of protruding front teeth and bulky masseter and temporalis muscles have greatly increased its biting power. Rajshu is fast reaching speeds of 24 kilometers an hour. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I think that's it, yep. Cool. Right, resort, reset door mechanisms, I guess. Oops, that was the wrong button. Oh, I, I accidentally let them off. Oh, is this Big Dave? Well, Big Dave's dead now. Stomp. Absolutely stomped me. You ain't gonna kill me? Nah. Hey, who do you think you are? You think you're some sort of genius? Oh, screwed. Oh, screwdriver. Okay, I'm probably not going to read through what the stuff on the pit boy is because that's going to take even longer. We're already 20 minutes into this video. I, I will say it's probably realistic that some of it has been cut out, so probably about 15 minutes into the video because um, I had to restart the game and everything. Um, so hopefully... Uh, Again, like I said, I'm trying to keep it as uncut as possible, but, you know, sometimes things happen, you know? Uh, let's put on our welding goggles, because I like a good old welding goggle. And, yeah, okay, let's get out of here. I love that animation so much. Like, that's such a sick way to... To like unlock doors and well, vault doors, even though it's technically not vault doors because vault tech doesn't actually exist in this land. Oh, there's a torch over there, that's a lot of light. Hopefully, that'll come in handy later on. Oh, wait, that is an insult and a half. You are more. No useless than a you fucked clock. That is a, that is an insult, dude. Hey, that was a mad insult. Right, while we're waiting on them to finish with their, their things. Are they still yapping? They done? They're done. 
Onwards and upwards. Bad. Okay, so we should be able to have a... There we go. Now we can see. Now we can see decently. So, how does the torch work then? Oh, it just comes off of our hip. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, hypo. Don't know what that does, but I'm sure it's some variation of the drugs in uh, vanilla Fallout 4, I guess. Oh, more things. Also, yes, I am taking everything just to sell it. Huh. Huh. Hello. Where are you going? Um, I to your mother's. You'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. Such as myself. You were more useful I'm, as I'm a I'm insulted, Smythe. Well, looks like your days are done. Alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. Good. It's a shame, really. There was so oh, much I really? wanted to do. What a shame. Off you go, then. Be seeing you. Be seeing you later. I, I will come back and kill you. Yeah, got more bobby pins. I lift panel. Oh, ooh, wee, yeah, yeah. Okay. Z floor. You guys seen that, right? You guys seen that mannequin just move by itself, right? That's not just. Oh, what now? What's happening now? Hello? You are oh. Hello. Maybe I am, sir. Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. Thank you, sir. Oh. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Oh, yes, sir? Very unprofessional of me. Oh, very. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? You say your name like you matter. Now, I'm sure you have and I do not questions. care for it. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. As you Since wish, sir. I'm all for giving one a sporting chance. I've unlocked the doors. Go. Thank you, sir. Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap. If you don't shut up about the goddamn gap, I'm gonna wring your neck. Oh, I can feel myself already getting annoyed. Um, for for those of you who don't know, whenever I'm in London for like Comic Con or whatever. Uh, every time I hear that damn train say something about minding a gap or some other sort of rail safety or whatever, I, I'm this close to punching it out every time because it just annoys me so much. Oh, formal hat, top hat, summer hat. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let us put on a hat of some sort. Let's see what this one looks like. No, I don't like that. Formal hat? Okay, a little better, a little better. Kinda like that, kinda like that. We'll keep with this just now. Not putting on the top hat quite yet. We'll maybe find a something. Uh, to do with that later. We might find a suit or something, hopefully. Uh, oh, there is purified water here. Purified water is always useful. Also, oh, oh, football. And it doesn't bounce very well. Oh, it's a little bit, um, a little bit flat. Anyway, Fesco. 
Fallout Tesco. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. I see. I I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Um, also, I thought I should mention this right now before anyone else asks. And yes, I am playing this on normal. I kind of just want to play through this like normally and not like stress too much out about like trying to survive and stuff. Um, but there are a few rules. I'm not really going to allow myself too much fast travel unless it's absolutely necessary and stuff like that. So yeah, that that's kind of the, the idea anyway. Um, wait, did that say the shore? Oh, so his little, um, so Mr. Smythe's little, shall we say, experiment are inside the shore. Why did the music pick up? I just finished fighting them. Why did the music pick up now? Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, I am going to grab this cane. Grab this protect and serve, which uh, Trafalgar Square is now permanently marked on your map. Now, let, let me get my walking cane out, you silly buggers. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think, big yin? Yeah? You thought you could kill me? Nah. This item is too heavy to carry. Damn, that's one fat ass rad then. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, would you look at that? Nice little. Nice little safe we got here, lads. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Some ammo, some blood plaques, uh, clarity, pre war money, rad right Nice, 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 all nice stuff. The hell is a Jimmy? Ah, a Jimmy hat. Okay. Oh, we got a red, blue, and yellow Jimmy hat. Someone was getting freaky in here. Anyway, I mean, might as well. It's the end of the world, right? Teaser. Someone was doing teasing in that other shop, I think. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with the jokes now. I, I'm gonna stop with the jokes, don't worry guys. Oh there's another one! Oh you rap scallion. Okay. Some cherry bake wells, very nice, very nice, very nice. I want some more tickets though. I I will Double check that I have had every kitchen. Oh, plenty tickets there. Oh, yes. Was there any under the... No. 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 Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay, then. Um. Oh, I guess he didn't get to use his Jimmy hats, did he? He kind of got crushed. <laughs> Silly bastard. Anyway. Okay, I think I've got all the tickets out of here, so I think we can go over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not even trying, brother. Oh, another sight. Oh. I don't have advanced lock picking. Okay. Well, fine man. Fine man. Oh, you silly bastard. You should have stayed hidden. Yes, I didn't. I didn't think you were good enough. Telephone. Ticket. 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 Telephone. Oh, well then. I guess we shall be going. I guess you, we shall. Okay.
Oh, come on, you silly bastard. Okay. We better check for more tickets, because I have a feeling that that is the currency. No, I I know it's the currency. Um, in the game instead of caps, but I guess we're getting on the train. Oh, it's closing. Please mind the gap. All right, let's go. Let's go. Also, very quickly, I'm going to see if I can get more subtitles on because I don't think I've got all the subtitles on. Um, where is subtitles actually? Skip audio. It'll be this way, won't it? Dialogue, general, okay. I was just going to see if wait, it would have the announcer subtitles, but I guess not. Ooh, ooh, there we go. London Town. I'm sorry, but it's... Okay, I'll maybe try and fix those textures at some point, because I think if you get the END, it'll be better, but... Well, that didn't sound good. Anywho. Well, I think that's going to be it for an episode there. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. Um, That is episode one of Fallout London. The next few will probably be a little bit longer than this, but, like, not much longer. I wanted to do just this first one just to see how it is. I know not a lot happens, so hopefully a lot more happens next episode. Um because we will be getting just getting off of the train probably um and hopefully we will see what's the situation in London with with the entire nuclear apocalypse and all that anyway i'll see you guys later hope you guys have a good rest of your day and yeah see you guys next video peace out